Well, she's arguably the biggest pop star the world's ever seen. But Taylor Swift is more than just her music. She's also a fashion icon. Her style is also really extraordinary. So much so that style expert and author Terry Newman has broken it all down in her new book. It's called Taylor Swift and the Clothes She Wears. And she joins us live now from London with more. Terry, thank you so hey, much Terry. for joining us. It's great to chat. Hi, thank you so much for having me. Our, thank you. Our pleasure. Uh, the book is beautiful. What makes Taylor Swift a good subject for a book like this? What makes her a fashion icon? Um, I think that Taylor Swift is a fashion icon because I think what she's done is she's really successfully experimented with all her looks and she shows what fashion is really about. You know, it's about kind of change and transformation and all the clothes that she wears have been so wonderful and really tell the story of different parts of her life. Um, she's a fascinating subject to write about. Well, yeah, and she goes through her eras with her fashion as well, doesn't she? I mean, she has so many mm. iconic looks. How did you decide which ones to include? Yeah, well, it was, I mean, I might have to write another book, quite honestly, because <laughs> I could only put so, so many in. Um, well, what I decided to do was kind of, you know, go through her eras, of course, because they really define every different sort of musical sort of direction she's taken. And then when I was in the middle of writing it, obviously she came out with her eras tour, so it really synchronised so brilliantly. Um, and and it, it made it even more sort of exciting for me to sort of see how she was kind of re-platforming all those kind of brilliant looks that all us Swifties love. <laughs> we know that she, um, in so many ways, often sends messages to her fans. How has she done that through her, her outfits and her clothes over the years? Well, I think I think all Swifties are sort of hyper tuned into these kind of um, Easter eggs that she mm. that she kind of leaves for, for for her fans, and it's really part of the the kind of interaction that she's kind of created with her Swiftie community. Um, and I think with the Eras tour, it was a really brilliant way of her kind of nodding to all these kind of looks that people have kind of grown up loving her um, wear, and and then she kind of reinvented them. Um, sort of in a ma majorly spectacular way um, during the Eras tour. Yeah, but well, the thing about... I mean, I saw the Eras concert uh, on film recently, and the thing about that too is that every album has its own defined look, whether it's a mm. long, flowing dress, whether it's, like, backwoods, you know, singer, whether it's, mm. like, you know, corporate chic. She has these different looks and different styles. So did you sort of go, I'll just take one style, then move to the next style, because that's basically what Taylor does. It's like a costume. Yeah, well, I mean, I mean, that's kind of quite interesting because I like looking at, you know, clothes and how they reflect identity. And I think the, the, the thing about Taylor is that she is an entertainer um, and that's part of her DNA and, um, and the, the clothes are part of her DNA as well. So every sh look she wears reflects this moment in time. Um, and although there's always going to be like a shimmer, I think, to, to, mm. the, to the clothes that she puts on, there's a real sort of you know, a, such a broad narrative. So when she was in her Evermore phase, for example, in the, you know, 2020, it was all very kind of, it was really in tune with that moment in time when we were all kind of suffering because of the pandemic and it was very kind of organic and very natural. But, um, of course, you know, when she first started out, she was wearing kind of, um, she was just 16, so she was wearing kind of little cowboy boots and slip dresses, which were, you know, part of her kind of growing up. Um, but she's uh, one of the, uh, the favourite things that I, I like um, that she wears is that all these kind of little fairy tale um, headbands, um, which also speak of a real nostalgia. So I think I think part of the joy about Taylor's clothes is that there is people do feel a real nostalgia about the clothes because they remember that moment in time for themselves as well. So of all of her looks, Terry, do you have a favourite? Can you pick one? <laughs> well, I mean, I, I mean. Personally, I love the Evermore because I'm sort of, you know, in that kind of zone myself. And I think that's so, so lovely because people can kind of see themselves in Taylor a little bit as well. But honestly, I love it when Taylor sparkles. I love it when she wears sequins. And, you know, there's a great quote from her when she says, you know, if you're going to be in pop music, you've got to love sequins. So mm -hmm. for me, it's the Oscar La Renta corset that she wore on her Evermore tour that I love a lot. You know, I really love that. It's not something I could wear. 
Um, but I think it just sort of shows Taylor off in all Me her neither. finery. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh, you know, Ter uh, you, it's not just Taylor, though. I mean, if it, you've written about this a lot, but a lot of pop stars like Harry Styles or Rihanna or Beyonce, they're all yeah. sort of like yeah. doing this thing now where they're sort of trying on different styles, different characters through their music. Who do you think's next going to be on your list to look out for? Well, I mean, I'm, I'm currently writing a, a new book and I've... I, I, it's really exciting, actually. I've done. I've, I've written a book about a group. I can't tell you who it is now, mm. but they are. It's a retro group. They were massive in the '90s, and it's coming out next year. And I really would love to talk to you about it when it comes up. I can't say anything now. Sounds very spicy. Spice girl. Sounds very <laughs> spicy. Who knows uh, what could possibly? I want to be there when you announce it. I mean, we'll take that if that's what it is. <laughs> say you'll be there for us, Terry. <laughs> when two become one. Anyway, okay. Oh, uh, I'm we Terry. love your work. Good we'll on chat you, mate. soon. Thanks so much. <laughs> Taylor Swift and the clothes she wears is available now. Give it to your Swifty fan friends for Christmas. Oh,